What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel below. Also, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for a quick message from our team. Let's get into the video. All right, All right guys, let's break down some NBA picks for Sunday, February 5th slate of games. Let's take a look at the leaderboard before we get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I went 0-1 yesterday. My Lakers failed me <laughs> and failed you guys if you tailed it, and I'm sorry. I was pretty hyped during the whole first half and honestly the first three quarters because the Lakers were dominating the whole game. And then they did the Lakers what they what the Lakers do best is implode. But it is what it is. Yeah, Trey, uh, I went 0-1 as well. I had the Golden State Warriors minus 9.5 against the Mavericks without Luka Doncic at home. They were up by 19 with five minutes left and they won by four. They scored four points in the final five minutes. I don't know what to do. That's now two double-digit blown lead covers and two overtime money losses in four of my last five games, picking in the NBA, so I'm very happy about that outcome. Let's move on to tonight's picks. We're all going to pick winners tonight, 3-0 sweep. Trey, start us off. Yeah, I'm going to start with the first game of the day for Sunday, and I'm going to go with the Magic versus Hornets game. The Magic are going to be without Mo Bamba and Jalen Suggs in this game due to the Austin Rivers scuffle. And I'll just say I hate Austin Rivers, I think, as a collective NBA group that we all probably do because he just has that face and i'm just really happy that suggs tossed him onto the ground so shout out jalen suggs but for this game i think the magic's depth is not going to be good enough honestly to to really keep them afloat their guard depth is all right with cole anthony coming off the bench but their front court depth is not good they're gonna be having to throw throw out mo wagner and i do not think that is a good idea especially going up against the hornets who dominate the offensive rebounds Miles Plumley is a man. Um, but Terry Rozier and Lomelo Ball are both averaging 20-plus points over, the, over their last four games versus the Magic. So look for them to handle most of the scoring uh, for this game. And these two teams actually played once already this season in Orlando. And the Hornets actually won that game by six points, winning 112-106. to And I expect the Magic to score somewhere around that 106 in this game again, honestly, because they are the 27th ranked team in the NBA in points per game. And they really struggle, you know, putting the ball into the hoop. And I don't think it's going to get much better against the Hornets. The Hornets are great at limiting their opponents' possessions, ranking ninth in the NBA in the forced turnovers per game. And they're even better at gaining the extra possessions on the offensive end, ranking fifth in the NBA in offensive rebounds per game. And with Mo Wagner playing more minutes, I do not think that is a good recipe. So I really like the Hornets in this game. Give me the money line. Tonight, I'm going with the Toronto Raptors, plus five on the road against the Grizzlies. I like Toronto in this game because there's so much uncertainty on the other side with Memphis. Right now, we know that Steven Adams and Dylan Brooks won't be playing in this game. Adams has a PCL sprain, and Dylan Brooks tried to stop Donovan Mitchell's family tree in his last outing. He is suspended for this game. Uh, the Grizzlies also have Jaron Jackson Jr. questionable in this game. And I'll say very questionable as he's not on the projected lineup for tonight's game. John Morant is day-to-day dealing with a wrist injury, but he's on the projected to start uh, tonight. So um, they will have him tonight, I believe. Both of these teams have been struggling lately with Memphis struggling more than Toronto, surprisingly. Memphis in their last five games only has one win, and it was against the Indiana Pacers without Tyrese Halliburton. They have losses against Golden State, Minnesota, Portland, and Cleveland in four of their last five games. Toronto is not much better, but I'm going to grab these five points and take a chance on the Raptors on the road. F- uh, Fred Van Vliet has been fantastic lately and has the weapons around him in Siakam and Barnes. This should be a competitive game with the Memphis injuries tonight, so take the points with the Raptors. Teets? Yeah, I'm going with the Sacramento Kings and the uh, New Orleans Pelicans game, and I'm actually going to do something that we have not done in a while, and I'm actually going to ride with the Pelicans uh, with a minus one and a half in this game. Um Let's start off with the fact that Brandon Ingram has now finally been considered back in the NBA. He just went off for 35 points against the Lakers uh, in a big-time win. Sorry, Trey, but uh, it was a five-point win, um, and that just kind of seals the deal that they are getting back to where they were earlier this season. The only piece that they're missing right now is Zion. and If they can get him back anytime soon, the Pelicans will be back in business. Uh, The Kings, on the other hand, the Kings are going to be without uh, De'Aaron Fox, 
And <clears throat> without Deer and Fox, they have not looked great. Uh, there's actually been four games this year. The Kings did not have Deer and Fox, and they are one and three in those games. Uh, Pelicans, they lost five straight before this game. They just got to win. All you need to do is get one more follow after that. The Kings, they just lost to an Indiana Pacers team not too long ago. Uh, Tyrese Halliburton came back, and he immediately started cooking them. Uh, I think the Kings travel to New Orleans, and I think the Pelicans just take care of business at home. All right, guys, that's three plays for tomorrow, and that'll do it for our NBA picks and predictions for February 5th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. <clears throat> Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our locks of the week, which are written articles that go in depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.